Hey Luke, we've had some really cool nights and uh, we possibly are uh, still gonna have some. Before we go out and spray, what are some of the things we need to be thinking about before we get the tractor out in the field? Well, I think you need to know your, your herbicide. You know, there's there's a, some herbicide in particular one of ours with Bear Crop Science, Buctrolem, that um, can can create a few havoc if it's um, if it's followed or preceded by by frost. Um, and on top of it, if you add a fungicide in your tank mix, the fungicide has a lot of surfactant, and it will increase the effect of the buctrolem on the crop. And what you typically see when you have buctrolem burn, is what I've got here on my left, is these splotchings on the leaves and uh, basically the, the surfactant plus the buctrol uh, burn, burn the leaves up. So is that plant going to recover? That plant will recover. Um, the plant is actually fine, it's just these typical leaves that are um, that are burnt, but the plant itself has not been hurt. Okay. We've done trials for the past uh, three years where we've looked at that issue uh, because again we we're saying to people that they should mix a fungicide with a herbicide. Uh, so we were looking really uh, in detail to try to figure out which um, you know which combination works the best or what we need to do to prevent uh, these to happen. So that plant's going to recover, but can we expect a yield loss on that plant? In the past three years, we haven't seen any yield loss. Again, with wheat, 90% of the yield is coming from that uh, flag leaf. And at uh, that stage, the flag leaf is not, not out um, by far. Uh, it would be a different story, though, if you'd spray your, your, uh, your herbicide, fungicide, and you have frost uh, when the flag leaf is out. Try to avoid uh, spraying if you know you're going to have a frost. Um, if you want to have it foolproof, uh, you need to avoid uh, five degree or less nights uh, the night before the night after you spray. Okay. That's the basically the rule of thumb. And a certain Anywhere, amount of hours above 10 degrees or five degrees or? No, basically, if you've got your weather station and, and you've got your forecast and they're saying oh there's going to be chance of frost or it's going to be zero, one, two degree tonight, you may want to avoid it. If you don't have a choice, if you weed, because you need to look at your weeds as well, and if your weeds are starting to grow too big, your product will not work anymore. And, and I say, you know, if you have a little bit of burn, it's not the end of the world. And so you can still um, go between that zero and, and five degree. Where you really need to avoid it is if you know for sure it's going to freeze. And this is an example of a trial here where we've, we've um, applied the product um, when the leaves were still frozen. Uh, it was minus two a degree or minus three at the time of application. Um, the temperature dropped at minus five that night. And it was followed by a night with another uh, uh, frost, uh, minus one, minus two. Uh, there's growers around the area that lost corn. Um, and uh, so it's, it, it was a pretty cold, cold nights for, for Ontario in, in early May. Thanks, Luke.